You know when you really need to do something and you know it's going to take time and you have other tasks you have to do as well and you're like, what am I doing? That's how I feel right now. Good morning. I set my alarm for 6.15 this morning. I think it's like 7.30 now. I just keep snoozing it because I have such a busy work day today, but I don't start until 10. So every time I hear my alarm, I'm like, what's five more minutes? What's five more minutes? Like we've got time. But now that five minutes has turned into an hour and 15 minutes and it's fine. It's fine. We deserved it. We deserved to have a rest because the last couple of days I was starting at 8.30 at my part-time job, but I do have a meeting at 10 and I want to make sure I'm all prepared for it so as much as I want to keep laying here I gotta get up I gotta get moving every part of me right now is like five more minutes but no <laughs> Okay, time to do some makeup also. I got dressed, but I didn't want to spill makeup all over my white top, so I put this oversized Nirvana shirt on. I don't know what this look is right now, but we're just gonna roll with it. To be honest, I don't usually get ready for work unless I'm filming, but I have a meeting this morning with a potential client, so I want to look nice. Also, I have my other editing job on today, and for that one, I work with one of my friends, and we always go and just work in like a Starbucks. And to be honest, I don't usually do my makeup for that either, but I feel like today's the day to look a little nicer. Also, I don't know what I've done, but I've gotten something so sticky in my hair. Like I ran my hands through my hair before and I was like, what the f I honestly have no idea what this is. Very concerning. What was that? I told you this in my life update video, but I started freelance video editing back in February. Let me give you a little rundown of what my jobs are and how my work works. So I have a part-time job that I work three days a week. Sometimes I work more if I have time or if there's any public holidays, stuff like that. And that job is not editing at all. It is just a part-time job. I have to leave the house to go to it. Oh my God, pause the video. I forgot I got this light. Okay, rewind. Anyway, I have my part-time job that I work three days a week, sometimes more if needed. I have my editing job that I told you I'm doing this afternoon that my friend also has as well. That one I do one day a week, sometimes two, but mostly one. And then I use this website called Upwork and that is a freelance website that I have been using to try and find other clients. I have one client on there that I edit YouTube videos for kind of just whenever they need. It's not a super consistent one in terms of like one video a week or one day a week that I work. It's kind of just whenever they need me, but that's where I'm currently at with all of my jobs. So this morning I have a meeting with a potential client who reached out to me on Upwork. So I'm excited to speak with them this morning. This call will pretty much just be for me to get an understanding of the job, what he wants me to do for his business. I can learn more about his business. He can learn more about me and what I can provide. It's kind of just an opportunity to get to know each other, see if we're the right fit. And that is happening at 10 a.m. It's only 8.30 now, but I do want to get some notes ready so I'm really prepared for the call so I am going to smash through this makeup as fast as I can so that I am on time and ready I'd love to hear more about you know your company and then what you're looking for Okay, I am obviously off the meeting now. I'm on my way to Starbucks to meet Harriet. The meeting actually got pushed to 11, so it's like 11.26 right now. I really wanted to be at Starbucks by 10.30, but these things happen sometimes. The meeting went really well though. Basically, we're just gonna be in like the trial stage now. So he's gonna share the files with me. I'm gonna have a look at them, see what I can do. But I'm really happy with it, but I really need to get to Starbucks ASAP because I thought I was gonna be like an hour into work now. It's fine, it just means that my day's gonna finish a bit later. Professionalism at its finest. We look orange, what the fuck? We've got that European summer glow, baby. <laughs> That was 
chaos, guys. Absolute mayhem. I get a call, my earring comes out of my thing, my airport falls out, I'm taking this call. Beth's staring at me like, what's going on? And my earring back falls on the floor. I get up, Beth's like, something's wrong, she's trying to leave. I thought it was like a serious call, like, you know, something chaotic had happened and it was like a family emergency or something. Oh, no, no. And you're like trying to get up and I'm just like, it was just double. <laughs> cut, 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 delete, delete, wrong um, Beth, editing Beth, cut. <laughs> anyway, we edit for the same client. Basically, we edit fashion TikToks. So, a person interviewing goes up to someone in the street, asks them what they're wearing, that's the vibe. So, we are finally getting started. We on our editing day, it is chaos. such a chaotic morning. Literally chaos. And basically, we have a template that we both follow so that we edit the exact same. And we had to change, well, Harriet had to change the template this morning. So, it's been kind of like a slow start but we've still been working it's just like getting everything on the same page because if we don't have the exact same template we won't edit the exact same and then it'll be obvious that there's like two different people so yeah together we are one and exactly oh my god what's that song we are one no we are yeah. one I am, you are, we yeah. are Australian. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna smash out. We're just gonna try and smash out as much as we can. Uh, fun. Okay. Okay. Cute. Let's do this. I just got home from Starbucks, but I am not finished for the day because guess what happened to me? I swear every time I edit, something goes wrong and it's not my fault. It's like a system glitch or something. Maybe it's me. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. I don't know. But I exported all 20 files that I need to send. Oh my God, not my Mac about to die. What is happening today? We love a chaotic work day. Anyway, I exported the 20 files to send to my boss for my editing job and I was proof watching them before I uploaded them. And for some reason they've exported with the wrong font But when I go into CapCut and check the videos, they have the right font I'm like, what the f***? I noticed at Starbucks, so I thought, okay, I'll just quickly re-export everything I tried to re-export one of them, it did it again So I don't know what's going on, I just forced quit the app And was like, okay, I'm just gonna deal with this at home because it's 5.40 now, it's getting late So, I need to try and figure that out and then upload my files Let me just quickly plug this in Hello. Anyway, once that's fixed, I can upload the files and then I can log off for the day. Oh, I didn't tell you, the meeting that I had this morning, the guy supplied me with not all of the raw files, but an example video of basically what he wants edited, like he put together his version and provided it to me as an example of kind of what they want. So I looked at that when I was at Starbucks and then I sent him back a bunch of questions, basically being like, okay, this is definitely something I can do, but what do you love about the video you've done? What do you dislike? Where do you want the improvement? to be made all of that kind of stuff so then when I do look at the raw footage which he is in the process of uploading I can figure out basically what I can do for them because obviously I can create the exact same video that he's made but if he's making it and he's hiring someone else he obviously wants it to be a bit different a bit better if that makes sense so hopefully he will have that footage to me tomorrow and he'll reply to me answering those questions but yeah that's very much in a trial stage not 100% sure if that job is going to go ahead or we're going to be the best fit but I will keep you updated and then tomorrow we have a very busy day again but we will run through the to-do list all that kind of stuff tomorrow for now I need to get these files sorted like bro what the hell I'm hoping just force quitting the app and opening it again will fix it but I swear every day I edit no matter whether it's for a client or myself something wonky happens <laughs> every single time Good morning! Wait, no, it is literally 12.30 p.m. It is not the morning anymore, but Cal had a client call that started at 10 a.m. and it just finished. So, I haven't been able to talk to you, but oh my god, guess what happened this morning? This is not work-related, but I was literally laying in bed. It was 7 a.m. I'd snoozed my alarm. Classic. I was just laying there, eyes closed, but the galaxy light was on. It was such a nice, chill vibe, and then all of a sudden, our emergency alarm in the building starts going off, and it is so f loud, as it should be because if there's an emergency we need to hear but it is so loud it's yelling emergency emergency evacuate now and Cal and I are like oh my god 
Okay, we gotta get out of here. So we get up, we grab our drink bottles, we walk all the way down the stairs. We live pretty high up in our building. We get down. There's so many people down there, obviously, because everyone's trying to like get out. The fire brigade's there, and they're like, oh yeah, someone just burnt their toast. It's fine, you can all go back home. I'm like, excuse me? Excuse me? Obviously, I'm so grateful that it's not anything serious, but oh my god, what a start to the morning. And then because everybody is in the foyer, right? Everybody from the building, the lines for the elevators are insane. So Cal and I walked back up the stairs. Honestly, it was kind of a vibe. Like, I feel like it woke me up, but I was so exhausted. <laughs> it's definitely not how I expected my morning to go, but it's fine. Everything's all good. I actually had such a nice morning. I went to the gym, I got ready, and then I decided to honestly just take it easy while Cal was on his call and kind of like get started with my day when I could talk to you guys because I want to bring you along for everything we're doing. And it was so nice. I mentioned this in my life update video, but I have not had a day off in so long. I honestly don't think I've had a day off this month. There has not been a single day where I have not been working on either my editing job, my own editing in YouTube, applying for more editing jobs, or being at my part-time job. And I'm not saying that to flex, you definitely need to rest. But I just feel like this morning, it was good. It was nice. But we really, really need to get started on our day now because, like I said, it is 12.30. And I actually got a message yesterday from my part-time job asking if I could work tomorrow. I don't think I mentioned this, but at my part-time job, I normally work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then I work at my editing job on Wednesdays. And then I normally have Thursday, Friday, Saturday to do my own thing, film YouTube videos, edit YouTube videos, all that influencing kind of stuff, and also apply for more editing jobs. I just usually have those three days and I try my best to take Saturdays off. It's so hard. It barely ever happens. I really want to try and make that a thing going forward. But the last three weeks, well, all of April, I have had zero days. And this week was going to be the first week where I had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but my part-time job asked me if I wanted to do a shift. I looked at my calendar. I was like, you know what? I can make it work. I feel like April is my grind month. Like I'm really just grinding it out. But it does mean since I'm doing that shift tomorrow, I really want to get everything done today or as much as I can today because I would love to take Saturday off and spend that just with Cal. So we have to get started, but let me show you my to-do list or our to-do list because you're coming along. I'm gonna show you on my phone because it keeps going blurry on the computer, but this is our to-do list for the day. Like I just mentioned, I have been editing this vlog. So I've made a start on that, but I haven't done anything else. Honestly, the most important things that we get done today are my emails and editing this vlog that we're literally filming right now. Because this vlog that we're filming, this like work days in my life vlog is going to go up on Sunday. I post every Sunday on YouTube. Normally in an ideal world, what I would be filming this week would be going up next Sunday, but I am just a little bit behind at the moment. So we're kind of going to be like filming and editing at the same time, but I always like to start with something easy, something quick that I can take off. That way I'm in a good mood. I'm feeling productive. So let's go ahead and order a new hard drive because oh my God, I need one so bad. And then let's do my emails and file because I've been so good at keeping up with my emails. I think I only have like like three to send. So let's start with that. Okay, guys, I have two emails left. I also cannot hear you when I have these headphones on, but when I take them off, I get like this dint in my hair. The one time I straighten my hair, I then wear these and it it's not a big deal. But anyway, I have two emails left and all they are are receipts that I need to file and put into my tax document. You will be so proud of me. I have been so good at keeping up with my tax document. I'm really proud of myself. So I'm going to file these into my tax document. And then I also have two actual receipts that I need to take photos of, send to my computer and put into my tax document as well. So I am going to do that now before I order my hard drive. I do have update my tax document on my to-do list so I'm just gonna do that and then we'll order the hard drive and we'll keep this going we're actually making so much progress tell me why it's 12:54, and we've already done so much I think I thought my emails were gonna take me way longer than they actually did but we love that We did it, we're done. This is honestly the best feeling. I feel like I have my life together when all of my work emails are done because there's something about them that makes me feel incomplete if they're not done. Not incomplete, like I'm stressed out when they're not done, but I also put off 
doing them. It's a really fun little toxic trait that I have. So I feel a lot better. Now I'm going to order this hard drive because dude my computer right now it is so full i have 59 gig left on my computer and my computer has a terabyte of storage oh my god it's literally going down as we speak <laughs> What I normally do is I have a Final Cut library. Final Cut is the editing software that I use for my YouTube videos. It's actually what I use for my editing jobs as well. But what I do is I create a library for the month. And usually with my current YouTube posting schedule, I'm posting one video a month. So in that Final Cut library, I will have four events, which are the four videos that I'm going to post that month. And then on my computer, I will have all of the raw footage for that month as well, obviously, because I'm like using it. And then at the end of the month, I will transfer all of that onto a hard drive and the hard drive that I use is the Samsung T7 This is the best hard drive. I will link it below for you. I have I think like four of these This one is one terabyte, but I realized you can get two terabyte hard drive So I want to look into that because I usually get maybe like four months or five months if I'm lucky worth the footage onto one of these. It really just depends if I do like bonus videos and stuff. So if I could get a two terabyte, that would obviously last me longer. So I'm gonna have a look on Amazon because the other day I looked up this hard drive on Amazon and it was so much cheaper than getting it at Officeworks. But the reason I have gotten it from Officeworks in the past is because one, the price has always kind of like been the same on Amazon. And I also always need it straight away. It'll be a situation where I'm like, oh shit. I have no storage left. I need to go get a hard drive. Also, I realized today that I have a month's worth of footage sitting on one of Kel's hard drives because last month or the month before, I don't know, I needed to get footage off of my computer. So, this is very long overdue. They're just so annoying to buy because they cost so much money and it's not a fun purchase, you know what I mean? But it's an essential purchase. Samsung T7. So this is the hard drive on Amazon for a two terabyte, which is what I want it's 218 but on office works for a two terabyte it's 239 so let's get the one off Amazon because we can save how much is that dude why can't I do basic maths right now $21 slay 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 okay it is a couple of hours later it is 10 past 3 the potential client that I was telling you about yesterday replied to me he supplied me with all of the raw footage another example of what kind of edited content he's after and he answered those questions that I sent him last night so I just spent like the last maybe 45 minutes to an hour looking at the raw footage looking at his other example video because he sent me another example of the kind of stuff that he wants edited so I just took a look at all oh, oh my god I have you in the weirdest position right now and you literally nearly just like fell backwards But I just spent some time looking at the footage looking at the example videos and kind of figuring out what the next step was So I just spent some time with Kel writing up an email to send back to him Just clarifying a few things the content itself like the example videos that he's given me I know I can edit stuff like that, but it's more how he wants it done Does he want every single video the same that kind of thing because for instance with my editing job that I was doing yesterday with my friend every single video is obviously different in terms of like when you view the content itself but the template that we follow when we edit is the exact same for every single video so when I go into work for the day yeah every single video is different that I'm editing but it's all going to look the same at the end in terms of structure and the template itself if that makes sense I'm sure you understand what I mean so I've drafted up a response to him I haven't sent it yet because I want to sit on it for a little bit bit longer in case I think of anything else that I could add to it and then send to him but that's what I've been up to now I really need to edit this video I was really hoping I was gonna have time today to edit or even just have a look over the Canada footage that I have because I told you guys in the life update video I have been filming what has been going on with our Canada application and I think I might have enough footage to make something for you guys but I'm also going to have to sit down and film some stuff to include in it like I'm gonna have pre-recorded footage and footage I'm gonna have to record to make the video work so I kind of wanted to sit down today and have a look at what I had and maybe brainstorm some ideas of what I need to film and the structure of the video or that kind of thing but I really just don't think I'm going to have enough time and I really need to edit this video that we're hanging out in right now today and it's 3 15 p.m. so I'm gonna hold off on doing the Canada stuff for today hopefully I'll get a chance to look at that next week. I would ideally love 
to post oh my god me just dropping my phone i would love to post the canada video in may because you guys have been waiting for so long so yeah i also need to plan out my may content because may starts on monday and i need to plan out my collabs what videos i'm gonna do i really wanted to do that with you today but maybe we can do that actually maybe we have a bit of time to do that now let's just do it now let's get it over and done with i say over and done with like it's a bad thing it's not it's just you know when you really need to do something and you know it's gonna take time and you have other tasks you have to do as well and you're like i just want to move on to that thing that's how i feel right now i've definitely told you this before but i plan every everything on my apple calendar and my apple notes for my apple calendar dude look at this this is what my april looked like i literally had something on every single day but as you can see on the left here i have all different calendars relating to areas of my life and then i organize it by month so i can see every day what i have to do and every single calendar is on here but of course i could like untick one if i don't want to see it or if i just want to see my youtube calendar i can untick the others you know what i mean and then for my youtube ideas i just drop them down in my apple notes that's also where i will kind of rough plan a video like if i have a video idea i will write a rough heading of what i think i would call it and sometimes i'll just dot point what i'm gonna film on that day just so i kind of have a structure in my head i don't script out my videos per se it's more i give it a bit of a loose structure so i don't go into it being like what am i doing although i do do that as well sometimes especially for just like really chill day in my life videos so i don't need to plan any videos in depth right now i really just need to figure out four videos that I'm going to post next month put the dates in my calendar of when I'm going to film them and when I'm going to post them and that's it I also do have two collabs next month so I need to make sure I know what video they're going to go into as well so that's what I'm going to do I reckon this will only take 20 minutes 20 minutes tops Okay, videos are planned for the month. I honestly just ended up planning my whole entire month. So that took a lot longer than 20 minutes. It is literally 20 past four now, but I still have to edit this entire video. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Look, the sun is coming across. I'm just going to embrace this for like a moment. This is so good. But there's also the darkest cloud that's about to just go in front of it. Anyway, I have this vlog to edit. But I did edit a bit of it this morning while Cal was on his call. So, I think we'll be fine. I reckon it'll take me like three, four hours. We are going to a comedy show tonight. So, I think what I'm going to do, not the light, just being like very intense. But I think I'm just going to edit until then. And hopefully we can get this done. Mm -hmm. 